or rebound. Those are my two biggest gripes with him and the fact that it's either a dunk or a three with him on offense. I love Obi. I don't want that to be. Now first guys, I want to give a shout out to Marshall with Chat Sports and say although I agree with a lot of your takes on the Knicks, especially your evaluation of Obi Toppin and his growth thus far, I do watch all of your videos and I've really enjoyed your recent live streams on the Knicks game. So if you're looking for someone to watch during the game, I would recommend checking out Chat Sports for their live streams of Knicks content and also my man Noah from Clutch B-Ball TV live streaming the Knicks games. Those are my two go-tos. Chris and Entertainer is presently not live streaming Knicks games because he's focused probably on Giants content. Now let's get to this video because guys listen it seems like must win games come fast and furious in this year's NBA and we have yet another one as we face off against the visiting Atlanta Hawks our most hated rival right now and their point guard Trey Young. Now I'm gonna make this video very quick as I give you my keys to victory. My keys to victory is one Mr. Julius Randle continuing to perform the way he's performed thus far this season. He's presently averaging 18 points a game, nine rebounds, about three and a half assists but this is the caveat and most important stat only 2.2 two turnovers per game which is way down considerable to the past three or four seasons of his career and that's mostly attributed to the fact that we have a real point guard in Jalen Brunson taking a lot of the ball handling and distributing and creating out of his hands Jalen Brunson has been it's so facto in charge of that but this is my key to victory really the matchups and how we handle Deshaun Murray who is everything is advertised for the Atlanta Hawks so far this season averaging 20.6 rebounds seven and a half assists per game to go along with two steals he will present a strong mismatch for us on both the offense and defensive end because he's probably going to be tasked with guarding Jalen Brunson. Now last year when we played against the Hawks, he saw a lot of Trey Young guarding Evan Fournier and a year prior we saw Trey Young guarding Reggie Bullock. Two players who didn't put any pressure on Trey Young. They don't run around a lot to create open looks. They don't create for themselves a lot and I think in this game if we're going to start Evan Fournier because I don't think Tom Thibodeau will start Cam Reddish and I'm not a big fan of starting Cam Reddish but this is a game that I would see the need for it if we were to start Cam Reddish and put pressure on Trey Young as a defender because if we start Cam Reddish you can't just easily put Deshaun Murray on Jalen Brunson. Jalen Brunson gives a way too much size to him and as crafty as Jalen Brunson is Deshaun Murray is a very 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 talented wing defender maybe one of the top five wing defenders in this league presently. Now, later in the season when we got Quentin Grimes back and then he's potentially starting over every 48 it'll be a lot different but presently in this game I think we need to start Cam Reddish I don't think Tom Thibodeau will do that but if he does not choose to start Cam Reddish I think he needs to put the ball in Evan Fournier's hands a lot and don't just have Evan Fournier stand in the corner it's so facto having Trey Young stand in the corner and not putting in any effort on the defensive end and definitely again not drawing fouls I want to see them go to Evan Fournier early and often or whoever Trey Young is guarding and if they start Cam Reddish I think that will at least cause a conundrum where Deshaun Murray will not be able to guard Jalen Brunson they'll almost have to put him on Cam Reddish especially if they start Cam Reddish and actually put the ball in his hands versus Trey Young those would be my keys to victory for the Knicks going against the Hawks in Madison Square Garden we need this win sitting at three and three we do not want to fall under 500 and out of the playoff race even though it is so early in the season I think we want to stay up there with those upper echelon teams in the Eastern Conference because there are a lot of them and with that being said guys I'm out one.